Hey, what's up? It's Karen San Diego, and guess what? We are on our way to closing. Ryan, say closing. Let's try that again. When I say closing, you gotta scream. It's closing. Try it. Say it. Say closing. Okay, try it again. Okay, we're trying again. Ryan, we're on our way to closing. Say it. All right, so um, this is not something that I've talked about on my channel. I haven't talked about it on YouTube or Instagram or in, in real life at all um, because I'm super superstitious and don't like to talk about things until they've happened. But we are officially buying our first house. Um, all Everything is done. We just have to go sign the paperwork and get our keys. Are you excited? Yeah, so um, I don't know if I'll be able to actually take you in there, but we're definitely gonna go by the house afterwards and do a little bit of a house tour. So I'm really excited to be able to take you guys with me. Um, this is also part of the reason why I've been so MIA for the past two weeks, because we've been doing a lot. If you've bought a house, you know that they require a lot of documents and I've been trying to follow that stuff, so it's been occupying my brain. They require your life. Your life, literally, they want a vial of your blood, your firstborn, everything. So we've been doing all of that, trying to get prepared, and today is the day. So we're on our way to the closing office or wherever that is right now. Um, yeah, and it's just, it's just, I feel so adult. <laughs> so I'll see, I'll see, we'll see, I'll see you guys either when I get there or afterwards. So let's go. This one? Yeah, it's fun. Okay, there you go. You share the pen, how beautiful is that? It's your first haul. And now you look up at the camera and say, I owe lots of money. <laughs> there you go. All right, that's it. Congratulations, you own a new home. <laughs> Welcome to our house. Come on in. So as soon as you enter, you have a uh, closet right here, just a standard small like coat, clo coat closet. And then to the other side here is a half bathroom. It's pretty like just like a standard half bath right now, but I plan on doing a little bit of renovations in there eventually, so that'll be like its own video. Then you come in, you walk directly into the living room. So in the living room, um, it's a decent space. You're gonna have a TV here, a couch here. And then I was thinking about some sort of like, we don't get that sign. I was thinking about some sort of like table two seater type of thing for right here in this section, since it's kind of like its own thing. Then you walk over here to the kitchen and dining room. Starting with this like huge island, just for reference. The island is like really, really big, so I think we can sit like four or five bar stools here on this island. I'm going to be changing a lot of the fixtures to matte black and then putting in some pendant lights up here in the ceiling since there aren't any. Around the kitchen, we have a pantry. I've never had a pantry before, so I'm really excited about this pantry. So um, it's not like a huge pantry, but good size. And then behind the kitchen here, we have the dining room. So I'm gonna put Obviously dining room table right here, some chairs. I think this could fit like a pretty decent sized dining table, like not just like a small one. And then do some sort of like furniture piece here. I'm not exactly sure what yet. If you have some suggestions, you can go ahead and let me know. But either there or even potentially on that wall. This wall here, something could also sit here. Um, not sure what. Then out here, I'm not gonna go out there because it's kind of cold right now, 
but we do have like a little balcony deck type of situation outside. And as you can see, you know, this is new construction. Um, they're still building out there. So um, I'm actually pretty interested to sit out there and watch the new construction happen. Um, so yeah, next I'm gonna show you we have a downstairs basement area. So I'm gonna go down before we go up. So take these stairs downstairs. So downstairs, there's this like small basement I'm gonna use this for my filming and for whenever I'm working from home. I'm gonna set up like a desk over here, maybe something here for me to sit down and film videos. And then in this closet, this was actually, they said, could have been a bathroom. So it has the setup to be a bathroom right now, but I think I'm not gonna use it as a bathroom. I'm just gonna keep it as a closet. So I have to finish that wall and turn this into something else. I also have the option to knock down this wall and just extend the basement to make it bigger. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with that yet. There already is storage over here. In this closet. So there's a walk-in closet right here. It's pretty spacious. For reference, I'll get inside. It's pretty spacious. So I don't think I necessarily need additional storage, but um, we'll use this as a storage closet for now and use that as a storage closet for now. And we'll also be able to put some storage in the basement, not the basement, in the garage, which we'll go to now. Whoa, we're almost home. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the garage. Um, stand up on the stairs more so you can give like an overview. It is a two car, two, two car garage. It looks a little smaller with the car in here just because Chad parked in the middle. But if he had parked over a little bit, then two cars can comfortably fit in here. I do not drive. I do not intend to drive anytime soon. So we probably only ever will have one car in here. And because of that, the plan for this room is to have this section of the garage be Chad's man cave. So we're gonna get some really cool man cave stuff to go in that side of the garage and then put like some storage racks here for some additional storage. So it'll be some storage racks that'll come out to like right here, the car, and then Chad's man cave over there on that side. But also if you look up, this garage has super tall ceilings. So we could also do the option of hanging the storage. Like they have these type of storage bins where you can like mount them to the ceiling so that you're not taking up any storage on the floor. So that also might be a good idea if we ever do get two cars and want to park two cars in here, just mount the storage on the ceiling and that way one car can be all the way to the corner and um, another car can be next to it and still have a little bit of room over there for Chad's man cave. But now we're gonna go up all the way upstairs to the floor with all the bedrooms. So let's go. All right, so now we're gonna go upstairs to the like sleeping level where like all the bedrooms are. So first thing when you get up here is this first bathroom. And this is gonna be primarily just like Ryan's bathroom. Sink, toilet, shower, and then behind the door here is a linen closet. Come and see. And then right after this bathroom, you'll see right across the hall here is a closet for the washer dryer. The house didn't come with that, so we have to buy the washer and dryer to go into this closet. Just show from afar. You have to buy the washer and dryer to go into this closet. So that will be coming very, very soon. Then this room here is going to be Ryan's bedroom. See, the only piece of furniture we have so far is this artwork. This actually isn't gonna go in here. It's gonna go in her playroom, which we'll see in a second. But this is her bedroom. It's a small room, but that is why she has two. So she just has her room here, 
Here's a closet and the closet has this like cute little like seat in it um, that I'm sure she's gonna love to come in here and sit on. And then her playroom, which is right next door, is pretty equivalent to this room um, with only one difference. So this is the playroom. Same thing, room, closet. Only difference and the reason that this is her playroom and not her bedroom is because the attic is right there. And it's not like a super functional attic or anything like that, but I just felt like for the cute decor that I'm going for in her bedroom, the attic would have just been an eyesore. So that's why I didn't want to put this to be her bedroom. But it's her playroom. We're gonna do like a little chair, her kitchen set, a TV, some books, toys, you know, all of that in here. And then she sleeps right next door. All right, so from here, we have our bedroom now. So the master bedroom is right down this hallway. So this is the master bedroom. This room is a lot more spacious, as you can see. It also has the tray ceilings, which I love. We're gonna put a chandelier up there, king size bed, dresser, and that's about it. I don't like to crowd bedrooms with too much furniture, so I love um, how spacious this room is. And we're gonna make sure that we don't make it look too cluttered. It's gonna look really chic and classy, and I'm really excited about this room and to decorate it. In this room, we also have a bathroom. It's a small bathroom, but it has his and his sinks. And then a shower over here. Cut it. A shower over here with double shower heads and a seat to sit in. It's also pretty spacious in here. Um, I'm sure this isn't wet. But yeah, the shower is pretty spacious. Um, I was thinking about changing these shower heads um, so that we have like the hoses, but I think for now we're gonna be good with just this. Yeah. Toilet, <laughs> nothing special. And then in the master bedroom as well, we have the master closet. It is a walk-in closet that unfortunately is gonna have to be shared with me and Chad. So like this will probably be my closet and then that will probably be Chad's closet. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is the closet. It's a good sp it's a good space to share, especially since right now most of my clothes don't fit anyway. So I'm I don't have that much clothes at the moment. But once I start shopping, you might have to figure out something else. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much it. Um, this is a townhouse, so it's a smaller house than um, if it was not a townhouse. So I love it. We're so excited. This is our first home purchase. So I'm so grateful um, to be able to be purchasing my first home as such a, well, I'm not that young, but I'm young. 30 is young. 30 is young. Right, 30 is young. So I'm purchasing a home, we're purchasing a home at such a young age and I'm really grateful for that. So this is the empty house tour. In, as we start getting more furniture, I'll give you an update. As far as a fully furnished house tour, that might take a while. But each room I complete, I'll give you an update on what, I'm, what I, um, the room looks like. And I'll take you along the way as I start buying stuff, do some hauls, so lots and lots and lots of home content coming your way. If you're excited about that, please let me know in the comments. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload from me. And until then, I will see you in my next video. Where in the world is Karen San Diego? From BK to Belly, it's anywhere she say so. She's changing your life, can see it straight through her eyes. And since